I also noticed that all these prepping channels, they've gone silent during this whole time. All right, right? When the coronavirus was being reported, you know, I, uh, the preppers were talking about, it's a pandemic, it's, you know, all the doom porn stuff. And then when the, then when the pandemic started really taking hold, all of a sudden prepper, prepper channel's gone silent. Hello everyone, welcome back. Another episode of Drive Along. All right, today I will be headed to uh, Harbor Freight. I'm going to pick up some nitro gloves. Uh, there is a little concern. Now, by the time I post this, maybe it'll blow over or maybe it won't. Uh, who knows? But by the time I post this, uh, I, I hope it blows over. But there's something going around called the Corona, the novel coronavirus. They don't even have a name for it. They just call it the new coronavirus. Uh, started out in China, Wuhan. And so uh, there's been five cases here. And so I, I've been watching it over the weekend. Today is what, uh, January, what is today? Today is January the 27th, Monday. It is, I think, 9 o'clock. So, it's 9 o'clock. And, uh, I've been, I've been doing my best to, uh, Pay attention to it because it seems really, really serious, at least in China. And uh, I'm, I'm worried because it looks like in China it seems to be a pandemic over there. Now there's been five cases so far as of today that I know of, of confirmed coronavirus infection. Well, you die from it, perhaps, perhaps. People have died from it. So far, 80 people have died, 81, supposedly. That's been officially recorded, I guess. I don't know if I can say recorded. Officially recorded. Now, I don't know if you will die from it or not, but people have died from it. Uh, and, and pretty much it's like a, like a cold virus or flu virus very similar except that it's so new that your body has no immune system no immunity and apparently there's no vaccine and the treatment is uh well they're doing i guess the uh health officials are doing the best they can for uh treating the symptoms to ease the pain but i don't know if uh other than that, what, what else they can do? So I'm headed to Arbor Freight to see if they have any more of those mass filters, those N95 filters as well. So uh, I'm going to definitely get some gloves. I'm going to stock up on some gloves. I use them all the time. I also use those uh, mass filters, the uh, especially the N95. I, I like those with the little... Uh, uh, diaphragm on the mask. I use that in general to cut the grass and do yard work outside because it's, it gets kind of dusty and all that and whatever else out there. So I don't like breathing that stuff in. I also use it when I do spray pesticide around the house. And so I have one. It's, it's, I've been using it and I just keep reusing it even though it's a disposable uh, mask filter. Uh, just because it's just yard work. I just don't want to be breathing dust when I do yard work and cut the grass and everything. And I have an extra one in the garage. So I do have one that's not used and one that is being used. My wife has a few, uh, they're not surgical masks. They're just masks to cover your face from spitting. Uh, one of those type of masks. So I'm going to try to see if I can get a few, at least, 
I don't know, <laughs> four, each for a member of my family, just in case, just in case. It's, I use them anyway, so it's not a big deal, but I've heard they're being sold out, and uh, I'm just buying them for precautionary measures. I use them anyway, so it's not a big deal. If, if nothing happens with this coronavirus, then I'm all right. I just don't have to buy mass filters for a couple of years. But they're being sold out off of Amazon. Um, if they don't have them at Harbor Freight, I, I'll go to Home Depot and Lowe's to see if there's any mass. I don't know how much time I want to spend. But uh, the main reason I'm going to Harbor Freight is definitely for the nitro gloves. And I also get a freebie, of course. I'm going to get a flashlight or those blue little flashlights. Those are very useful, I think, especially now. So what I, I'm very alarmed by what's happening over in China. And uh, I just started uh, kind of, I, I wouldn't say getting into prepping, but I'm, I'm starting to get in that being prepared mode. And uh, I've, it happens about this time of year. Just because it's, it's winter, you have less light. You have less light. And, uh, you know, I, that's usually around the time during winter, the holidays, I start looking into getting new guns, you know, or uh, buying ammo, uh, prepping, preparing food. I'm making beef jerky right now at the house. That's just, I, I, I enjoy the beef jerky anyway. I'll probably be gone. But um, I've, my wife bought like... Uh, six pounds of uh, lean ground beef that I'm going to make into beef jerky. It'll probably be gone. The family likes it, but I'm just making some just in case something happens within the next two or well, within this week. I told my wife to buy extra food. She was grocery shopping. I just told her, buy some extra food, just, you know, extra food, nothing serious. Uh, you know, buy some dry, dry food, nothing we have to refrigerate, just buy some extra so we just have them on hand, and if things get really serious, I think the stores will still be open. So I'm not really worried about, you know, the food chain supply getting disrupted, but I just want to make sure we have some extra food. Uh, as far as long term, I do have flour on hand. I think I have a, a pound and a half of flour because I do make bread. Uh, we also have like 15 pounds of rice. I think between the flour and the rice, and we can always get more flour and a little bit more uh, more rice by another 15 pound rice. That should last us at least a month, month and a half. I mean, if we ration, that will last at least a month and a half. So water comes from the sink. We just drink tap water. We use filter. I have a filter going into the house, right? And then we use another filter for drinking. So I think we're okay on the water. It's not a water issue anyway. But when I, when I see what's happening in China, uh, China is on a lockdown. They're on, like, the whole country is pretty much on quarantine. And I've been seeing some very disturbing videos. Although it seems like the grocery stores are still open and people seem to be still be able to be mobile they just wear these masks and gloves and goggles to protect themselves from getting the the, uh, the coronavirus. Apparently, it's come from some kind of wet market. Uh, the thinking, they don't, it's not confirmed. Uh, nothing's, you know, don't take my word for it. But uh, the thinking is that uh, the bats that carry coronavirus in China, trans okay, so the, it came from a bat. That transferred it to a snake, apparently. And then the snake was at a meat market, a wet meat market, where they butcher without even washing their hands or soap or one of those kind of markets in China. That, that's another reason I would never, I, I would not go to China. I would personally not go to China. I've been in uh, around Asia at one point, and I had a chance to go with our, some of my friends and cohorts. To go into China, go see the whatever the Forbidden City. I don't think I don't think they went to the to the wall, the Great Wall. But uh, they they asked me if I wanted to go. I, I'm like, no, I, I don't want to go. I, I personally don't uh, go into uh, 
I don't feel safe going into uh, countries that are are communist. Just just me. That's just my opinion. Oh, I gotta make a right turn, not a left turn. I'm going to Harbor Freight. I'm taking the back way. I don't want to take the main roads right now. At least not going to Harbor Freight, but maybe from Harbor Freight going home, maybe I'll take the uh, main road. But uh, yeah, I I I don't want like going to communist countries. So I I'll probably never go to Russia. Uh, there has to be a very strong, strong reason for me to go into a communist country. Basically, I'm, I am a U.S. citizen, so I would not go to a country that is not an ally of, of America. Just because I feel a little bit safer as a citizen that... I know if something happened, at least there's an embassy that I could be taken care of somewhat. In these uh, other countries, you don't know, you really don't know what's going to happen to you. You can get locked up for being a spy. Your identity could be stolen and used for espionage, you know. Not that I say this would happen, but there's been some cases, there's been some instances recently where that ha that's happened. But anyways, back to the coronavirus. So the, the it's got it was it started in apparently it started in, in Wuhan, China, Ubei, Ubei or Hubei, whatever province, whatever state, China. Okay, just China, all right. And uh, it started out at the wet market, people getting sick. So it transferred from animal to human. So from animal to animal, then animal to human. Now it's transferring human to human, and. How bad is it? I, I don't think it's, I think you, people can survive. Most, I think most healthy people can survive the coronavirus. It's just that uh, how fast it's spreading because it's a new virus and the human body has no immune system to it. So that tells me that this can, this can spread very fast. And not only that, it's asymptomatic. In other words, you could have no symptoms of the coronavirus and still be spreading because it, it attacks your respiratory system. And I think what's happening is you get infected. It's obviously incubating through the lungs. And as you're breathing, your simple breath, breathing, you're breathing in and out, you're spreading the coronavirus, the, the novel coronavirus. Or, or did I? Oh, man, I made a wrong turn. Anyways, it doesn't matter. This circles around. I made a wrong turn. Anyways, uh, so so I think that's how it's being spread through respiratory, and that's why people are wearing masks. That makes the most sense. Some people say from coughing and sneezing, but there's been confirmed reports, and, and even the Chinese government has said that when you could get infected, even showing no symptoms whatsoever. No, no symptoms whatsoever. So very scary. Very scary. So there's been five confirmed cases. Five from confirmed cases. And I think there's about 20 suspicious cases that, that that's being monitored. And I think that's going to grow because the fact that it was asymptomatic. In other words, again. Okay, no. Okay, here it is. Okay. This is the right turn. All right, I must have missed this turn. So in other words, uh, people were being, <laughs> I think people are being infected in the U.S. I think that number is going to rise. But by the time you watch this, uh, how I don't know how good or bad it's going to get. But I'm, I'm basically headed to Harbor Freight to get me some nitro gloves. I'm also headed uh, to maybe some other places just to get the N95 filters. I think that's good for what I'm going to be doing. And plus, if this, if nothing ever happens, then uh, I'll use it for what I've been using it for, which is like going outside and doing yard work and, you know, uh, weed whacking and uh, using the blower and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to be looking for today. Let's see how easy or hard it is. Um, 
if I go locally around here and I'm able to find a mass, then that would confirm to me that maybe this is not quite bad yet. But if I go around and there are no masks, the one, the N95 mask, that tells me right away people are very, very serious. They're taking this serious. I also noticed that all these prepping channels, they've gone silent during this whole time. All right, right. When the coronavirus was being reported, you know, I, the preppers were talking about it's a pandemic. It's, you know, all the doom porn stuff. And then when the, then when the pandemic started really taking hold, all of a sudden prepper, prepper channels gone silent. They're not, they're not, you know, they're not, they're not uploading videos and doing doom porn they're being like kind of silent because they're probably worried about being demonetized and stuff like that. But yeah, this is this is getting serious, people. I think it's getting serious. Uh, I've taken some precautions. I'm still I'm watching the news all the time for this. I'm just constantly, constantly watching the news and uh, forums and everything. I'm trying to get any up to date information. Anyways, uh, I'm not gonna do a walk along. I'll just see you all later. Bye.